Joe McKenzie here. I want to share something that is just a passing thought. Maybe this has happened to you and you've had this revelation as well, but it's new for me. And my question was, what do art and tight pants have in common? This is a very short video, but I'm curious to know if you feel the same way. Let's get started. Joe McKenzie, your watercolor coach. But I want to talk today about how you know that your art is getting better. And I'm going to use an analogy and then tie my thoughts together. So let's start with the analogy. The analogy is this. Have you ever had that situation where you go to put on a pair of pants and they're tight? And that the last time you wore them, they weren't tight at all. And so what happens <laughs> for me in the past was I would think, wow, I must have put these pants in the dryer and put it on a high setting and so my pants are tight you know but they'll loosen up over time and uh, so I go ahead and wear the pants and they don't loosen up over time and then the light bulb comes on over my head and I realize oh I probably gained weight <laughs> but in other words the information comes to me but I go into some sort of explanation and then later I realize oh something shifted something's changed now let's see how that applies to art. So the way that applies to art for me is there are wonderful artists that I follow. I mean, I will never be able to even touch a candle to what they do. So there is that class of people. That's not who I'm talking about. I'm gonna talk about peers. When it comes to peers or people that I consider kind of at my level, and I always call my level a campfire scout. And what I mean by that is they're, they're, you know, the really great artists and painters, they can sing arias, they're well trained, they can do opera, you know, that's never going to be what I am. I'm a sing around the campfire kind of painter, you know, let's all sing along. It's in somewhat informal. It's, I take it seriously, but I also know that I, I, I don't have the, um, either the training or the gifts to be able to be operatic with my art. It's pretty standard stuff. So what occurred to me and which where the information came up so slowly, I just can't believe this was there are about four or five different artists that I've been following for, you know, about 10 years as we've gained skills and whatnot. And some of them I've, I've talked to, some of them I don't know at all. And for a few of them, I thought, what's going on? Why aren't they painting well? I couldn't figure it out. I thought, well, maybe they've taken some classes and been influenced or something, or maybe they're trying some new stuff, but their art that used to just make my heart sing just isn't. And I thought, wow. I mean, really the thought bubble over my head was, oh my gosh, you know, so-and-so is painting wor worse. She's getting worse. How, ca how can that happen? What what's going on here? So similar to the tight pants situation, it suddenly occurred to me that I don't think their painting is getting worse. I don't think so. I think what's happened instead is that my eye is now looking at things in a more trained way than it was years ago. Or perhaps, if I could be so bold, I'll be a little bit bold about this, maybe my art got better and I didn't realize it because the pants were, you know, the pants were tight and so they must have been in the dryer. Maybe my art has gotten better and I didn't recognize it because I'm comparing myself to the opera singers instead of <laughs> to my peer group around the campfire. If you understand what I'm saying, it's sort of a odd thought, but it just passed through me. And so I thought I would share it because maybe that will ring some truth to you as well. So remember to keep the white to your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color. Please join my YouTube channel or tell a friend too. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.